Have you ever used orphans to study an experimental vaccine? Yes. Have you ever used the mentally handicapped to study an experimental vaccine? Um, I don't recollect ever doing studies in uh, mentally handicapped individuals. Um, uh, at the time, in the 1960s, it was not an uncommon uh, practice. I wouldn't deny that uh, I may have done so. There's an article entitled Attenuation of RA273 Rubella Virus in WI38 Human Diploid Cells. Are you familiar with that article? Yes. <clears throat> Thirteen seronegative, mentally retarded children were given RA273 vaccine. Okay, well, then that's... In that case, that's what I did. Okay. Have you ever expressed that it's better to perform experiments on those less likely to be able to contribute to society, uh, such as children with handicap, than with children without or adults without handicaps? Um, I don't remember specifically, but it's uh, possible. Is one of the things you wrote. Um, the question is whether we are to have experiments performed on fully functioning adults and on children who are potentially contributors to society or to perform initial studies in children and adults who are human in form but not in social potential. Yes. Okay. It may be objected that this question implies a Nazi philosophy, but I do not think that it is difficult to distinguish non-functioning persons from members of ethnic, racial, economic, or other groups. Mm -hmm. Have you ever used babies of mothers in prison to study an experimental vaccine? Yes. Have you ever used individuals under col colonial rule to study an experimental vaccine? Yes. Did you do so in the Belgian Congo? Yes. Did that experiment involve almost a million people? Well, um, well, all right, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm.